Hi there guys, welcome to today's video. Here we have another team by Mr. Kurtastic. This is a, a Dragon Cheer Lapras team. I haven't used the act of the move Dragon Cheer yet and I'm really excited to use this team. As we know, Mr. Kurtastic puts out some fantastic teams um, and I'm really looking forward to this one. So before I get started, we'll just go run quickly, run through the Pokemon that we're using and then we'll get straight to the first game. So we've got Incineroar with the weakness policy. Uh, Lapras obviously with the, um, it's got an, a Citrus Berry. We've got Kindra here, uh, Kingdra, sorry, with a Scope Lens, a Latias with a Rocky Helmet, Metagross with an Assault Vest, and I still can't say that, uh, Serena with the Wide, wide Lens. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into game one. Right, here we go guys, game one. So we're going up against a Futamane, Tornadus, Cheng Pao, Dragon Knight, which will most likely be normal type Terror Extreme Speed. Uh, with a choice band and also uh, raging bolt and among us i feel like serena is going to be a good shout here um let's just bring lapras kindra serena just to deal with the extreme speed potentially and then do we bring do i bring among us or do i bring incineroar not Among Us, sorry. I was looking at Among Us. Uh, do I bring Metagross or Incineroar? So Incineroar could potentially take out the Fluttermane, uh, the Cheng Pao, and that's about it. And the Among Us, whereas Metagross could take out the Among Us, the Cheng Pao, the Fluttermane as well. Um, I'm going to bring Metagross, I think. Let's try that team. Alright, so they've gone with Cheng Pao and Dragonite straight away. Right, so I'm bringing out... Um, I'm swapping out the Lapras, I think. Do I swap out the Lapras or do I just protect? Because I can go Dragon Cheer. And then I can protect, but then I make no difference. Um, Draco Meter will make no difference. Scold. Uh, let's... No, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to do that. Let's Icy Wind. And then swap out and bring out the Serena. Just to stop the Sucker Punch and the Extreme Speed. I think that's the best um, thing I can do there. Nice shiny Serena. Let me guess. Normal type Dragonite. Surprise, surprise. Oh, he's gone protect. Okay. And there's the extreme speed. So he's tied into that now. Even better. Right, shall we Dragon Cheer the Serena? I feel like we should. And let's... Do I... Fire type Terror into a high jump kick? Yes, I do. At least that way I won't get hit by the... Um, by... Oh, God, I'm going. Uh, I won't get hit by... A, a nice tight move. Among Us is going to be annoying to take out. But we're going to try anyway. Ooh, gone for the Lapras, okay. Didn't really need to terror that, but anyway, we've done it. My jump kick, it's going to go down to its sash. Of course it does. And the dragon cheer is a bit late now. Is that actually... is getting pumped. What's actually done to the um, stats there? Nothing. Critical hit boost. Oh, there it is. So, uh... Ice shard... I'll ice shard the Cheng Pao just in case it 
Among Us doesn't use um, um, Rage Powder, and then Triple Axle into the Among Us. Yeah, so he's protected anyway. That's that's fine either way. Just in case he, I could take him out, I've gone and attacked. Oh, why? Has my boost gone? Is that what that does? No, it doesn't. It's okay. So, Ice Shard. <laughs> and Triple Axel. Although, if he trans... Uh, if he terrors... No, he can't terror because he already terrored the um, Dragonite. So, let's do that. Could have high jump kicked, actually, because I thought he was going to swap out and bring the Dragonite out again. No, he didn't. Okay. Right, so the... Ice Shard is going to hit the Among Us anyway. Mm. I mean, it's 40% damage, so... And the Lapras is gone. There we go. Right. Critically boosted Triple Axel into an Among Us. That's one. Two. It won't take it out. Nah, it won't take it out. Citrus Berry. I mean, it would have done if it didn't have the citrus berry. Um, I can bring him out and go bullet punch. <laughs> and then triple axel again. He'll probably try and protect now. And he's withdrawn it. Okay. So he's trying to save it, really. Uh, so he's got Raging Bolt. Interesting. Rage Powder, that's fine, you're gonna die now. Probably not with the Bullet Punch, but... Oh, can't believe it, with 1 HP. Really? Right, so he's got 3 Pokemon left. One is basically on 1 HP, and then 2, the Dragonite and this. Um, triple Axel obviously will hurt, but not enough. I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, you know, I suppose he'd, even if he did have sucker punch, he couldn't use it. Stomping tantrum onto the raging bolt. Let's go. High jump kick into the dragonite. Fire punch. Did some damage that. I jump kick. Takes out the Dragonite. Yes, of course it does. Right, I'm just hoping that Meta Gross attacks first now. So at least I can get some. Nope. And it's. Come on, live, live, live. Thank you. Even better. Right, how much damage is it going to do? Almost half. Okay. Well, we know Serena's quicker. Than Raging Bolt. Not quicker than Cheng Pao. Which he's got. I still have Kingdra in the back. I just need to... I need to attack both of them. Oh, Bullet Punch. Yeah, all the way. Let's go Triple Axel into Raging Bolt. Bullet Punch. We're going to have that. What's he going to do? In my head, it's looking good for me. Even if he protects the Cheng Pao. Serena's quicker than the Raging Bolt. So I'm hoping that three hits of Triple Axel is enough to take it out. So he has protected. Just don't double protect, please. Yep, Bullet Punch. So he didn't double protect. And then the Triple Axel, please hit. If it misses, I'm sort of screwed. No, it doesn't. Right, that's one. Two. Yeah, it's down. I think we've won this. We still have another Pokemon in the back. I think we got this. And I can just bullet punch and just... I jump kick. Yeah, cancelled. Right, that's our first game. Let's get on to game two. Right, okay, so here we go. Game two. Ooh, we have a very interesting team. So we've got an Ember, Glade, 
Scrappy, Scrappy, whatever it's called, Iron Hands, Urshifu, and a Galarian Zapdos. This is an interesting team. Metagross is very outmatched here. He is pretty much weak to all of them, so he's not coming. Um, I think Serena should. I think I might bring her first, really. Uh, tell you what, let's bring Incineroar this time. Let's bring Latius out as well. Serena and... Let's see... Would like to use Kindra, but... Yeah, but... Mm. It's got the Dragon Cheer, but it's not guaranteed to work, is it? Uh, no, I'll tell you what, I do want to make this work, so let's just go Lapras, Kingdra, Incineroar, and Serena. If I have to swap, I'll swap. Okay, so he's got a Gallade and Nine Hands. Um, so I have feeling that I might need to swap out the um, like one of them right now. Uh, who, though? Do I go Dragon Cheer? And then swap out the Kingdra? Like I did before. I don't want to fake out, so let's just swap it out. And they can potentially fake out both of them, so... Okay. And here we have a Serena. He's gone Protect. That's fine. Has he gone Fake Out with a Gallade? Or has he gone Sacred Sword? I'm quicker than Gallade! That is a very slow Gallade. Has he got Trick Room? He's got Trick Room. Yeah, I forgot the Gallade can use Trick Room. Okay. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I'm completely intrigued. Um, Muddy Water. Let's high jump kick the Iron Hands. Probably could have swapped to the Incineroar, dropped the attacks a bit, but if one of them dies, I can always do that next. Oh, I definitely should have kept the Kingdra then. Muddy Water. Wow, that hit hard. That did nothing to the Iron Hands. Absolutely nothing. Oh, I said may also lower their accuracy. It doesn't doesn't lower their accuracy. Ice Shard into Gallade. Let's protect with the Serena. <coughs> Nothing. Drain Punch. Wow. I was not... I did not see a Trick Room Gallade team then. When I looked at that team. Alright. I'm assuming he's going to attack the... Yeah, of course he was. Alright, let's go with Muddy Water again. And... I mean, I might as well just attack. I'm not going to be... Oh, I'm... Serena won't die. I won't live here, so I might as well just attack. I'm not going to bother swapping out. As long as we take out that Gallade, his treat room... Like, user goes. Uh, Thunder Punch. Okay, or we don't. That also works. And side cut. Please miss. Damn it. Ah. Damn, 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 damn. Should have just attacked on that first turn. Right, let's see if we can do some bin here. Gallade definitely needs to go. That's that's a definite there. I uh, Metagross would have been great here because it's slow. Clear amulet. We'll just thanks for that. Let's fake out the Iron Hands. Let's scold the Gallade. Cut him, yep. Standard move for our yellow views. And thank you for that. That's activated the weakness policy. Alright, 
how much damage. Not a lot. It's yeah, this this team is quite my I'm going up against is very bulky. It's not um it's not working out quite well, is it? Right. Potentially this is where we come back now. Let's knock off. Oh we can't knock off, so let's just flare blitz into the iron hands. Let's terror poison into the um Gallade. Probably should have just aimed for Gallade there. Because if he gets a trick room off again, I'm screwed. Okay. Right, Terra Blast Kingdra. Alright, is it going to kill the Gallade? Yes. Good. That's the trick rumor. Flare Blitz. Yes! Great turn. What a turn. I'll happily take the recoil for that. Right. What's he got in the back now? That's the question. And I'll be quicker. I can't keep using Flare Blitz, so Ember. Here we go. Right, so the Scald is going to come out here. And the Urshifu. Is it? It's the normal type of Urshifu, so... I'm going to fake out. Uh, if, oh, sorry, um, not fake out. Flare Blitz into the Urshifu. I need to take it out. I've got nothing that's strong against it, so I'm just going to go all out. If I lose, I lose, but it's a very interesting team. I did not see that team coming. I might do a I might build a team around a trick room Gallade. No one's gonna expect that. God of War, yes, I'd expect it to have trick room, but not a Gallade. I every time I use Gallade it just tends to be physically like offensive with a focus sash. Seems to work, but we'll see. Should I gone for Draco Meteor here? Oh! Oh even better! Dark type, oh, makes no difference. It's still a dark type anyway. It just depends who's quicker though. Oh, come on. Really? Wicked blow into the Kingdra. Who dies? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've not won this. Even if I take out Which he lives on a sash. If you get burned, that'd be great. But then the uh, Embo still attacking. Yeah, we've, we've not done this. Head smash. Of course, he misses that. Still gonna attack. I'm not cutting out. That is not how we do things. Go down fighting. That's what I say. Suck a punch. <laughs> <laughs> that was just. Yeah. Right, well, that's game two. Uh, interesting team, I like it. Uh, let's go on to the third and final game. Right, okay, so here we go. Third and final um, battle. So we've got... I feel like we've gone up against a Kronos before. That name looks familiar. Uh, so we've got Incineroar, Ogapon, um, Goldengo, Raging Bolt, Tornadus, and Urshifu, which I'm going to assume could potentially could be the dark one, actually. Uh, right, so we are going to go with... Um... Who do we lead? Latias? Ah. Kingdra, Lapras. Let's go with Metagross here for the Water Terror. Just to, you know, a bit of survivability. And do I do Till? Yeah, I think I can need to do Tailwind as well, actually. Um, in that case... Do Latias, Lapras, and Metagross. Metagross? Well, Dengo's going to be hard to take out, though. That's the problem. Definitely bring in Metagross. Right, let's get Latias in, Incineroar, Metagross, and then... I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go Kingdra this turn. Yeah, it's going to have to be.
Okay, so we've got the Intimidate, which sort of is pointless against the Raging Bolt anyway. Uh, we have got Tailwind, which we will use. Incineroar's got Fake Out, which I'll use on Raging Bolt here so it doesn't take out the Lapras. Uh, not the Lapras, sorry, the Latias. We're through the Ogre Pond, so that's fine. It's even better for us, actually. We get the Tailwind out. He does know that... Is that why he didn't bring out Gondengo first turn? Oh, he swapped them both out. And Incineroar. It's fine. That works. I can always knock off. Probably should have done. But we got the fake out. Okay, so... Um, let's bring out the. Let's just attack with Miss Ball, shall we? Let's knock off the Godengo. We've got Protect, okay. I shouldn't have doubled into it. Knock off. What's the... Yeah, knock off as well. Okay. Oh, that hit so hard. Alright, miss ball. And then knock off again. Is he going to predict that I'm going to do the same thing again? Uh, I need to take out the Incineroar, definitely. Just to... So I can bring out Metagross. Probably... Uh, yeah, I should have done Lapras again. Why did I change? Why did I bother changing Lapras? Miss Ball. There's nothing. It was a special attack, but... That did nothing as well. Uh, he's lost the Assault Vest, so that's... Kind of good. Parting shot's gone. That's fine. Okay. Uh, now I can recover, though. Uh, I'm going to try and knock off the Goldengo again. Is he just messing with me right now? It's, it's getting quite annoying. <laughs> and here comes the Goldengo, and it's going to be... Steel-type. Oh. Fairy-type. Didn't see that coming. Alright, so we've got, the, we've got the recover going. That's fine. Knock off. Whatever he had, he's not going to have it now. Metal coat. Oh, that's even better. Nasty plot. And there goes the tailwind. Right. Let's... Switch out. I'm going to keep Metagross in the back for a second. Let's bring out the Kingdra. I might die, but let's just... Yeah. Hear me out. I can always terror the uh, Metagross as well to stop... Um, to stop the damage from the potential Flare Blitz from his Incineroar. That's fine. We've got Tailwind. And here comes the Make It Rain. Make it rain. He's going to take me out. Oh, King Drew lives. Okay. Right. I'm actually going to Draco Meteor into the Incineroar here. Um, yeah, let's bring him out. I'm going to Draco Meteor into the Incineroar in case he brings out the Raging Bolt. That's the best thing I can think of here. Um... I am going to Terra Water. 
Hard press, bullet. Bullet punch into the Goldengo. Then let's Draco Meteor into the Incineroar. I'm going to predict the Raging Bolt swap. He's actually swapped out the Goldengo here. Is he swap? No, he's not. Okay. I predicted that wrong. So I'm glad I'm glad I did Terra there. Just um to deal with the Incineroar and now the Ogapon as well. That clearly doesn't work, so that's fine. Here comes the Draco Meteor, which I I mean takes out the Incineroar, I'm happy with that. It was either gonna take that out or the um Raging Bolt out, so I'm happy with that. That'll do. Here comes the Raging Bolt now. Right, this is where the Metagross is not going to work. Hmm. I mean, I still have... Let's go Terra. Do I Scold or do I Draco Meteor into the Ogre Pond? Raging Bolt, yeah. From the clock. I mean, that's fine. I'll take that. Draco Meteor into the Ogre Pond, which does nothing now. Am I going to be quicker than the Ogre Pond? Yes. Not enough to take it out, though. Ah. I shouldn't have terrored the Metagross. I forgot about the Horn Leech on Ogre Pond. Alright, come on, Incineroar. <laughs> okay. Now, what is the play? Fake out the Raging Bull. Uh, Terror Blast the Ogre Pond. That is the only thing I can think of right now. Okay. So he's brought him out because I haven't got the Metagross out anymore. Raging Bolt's out. And here comes the Terror Blast. Dead nothing. <laughs> wow. I need to I need to burn him. Or something. Yeah, it's because I use Draco Meteor. I hate Draco Meteor as a move. Just for that. Use it once or twice and that's it. You're basically screwed. Knock off the Ogre Pond. All I can do is Scald. If that. Wow. That was embarrassing. That was a 10 minute battle as I'm looking at the, uh, at, at the timer now. Yeah, well, that was the third battle. That was embarrassing. Um, right, well, I did not do this team justice. Uh, let's go on to the team talk. Right, here we go. So, the team talk. Um, like I said just before, I did not do this team any justice. Um, it was meant to be a Lapras Dragon Cheer. Ended up being just trying to survive with whatever I could. Uh, we did win one game, I think. Was it one or two? I can't remember if we won two. I'll find out when I edit the video. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I yeah, I, I could have played this team this team a lot better. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's not the team's fault. Uh, like I said, Sikastastic makes some great teams. It was just I think my style of play. Um, and then you know we went up against a team that we weren't expecting, like the Trick Room Gallade which was nice to go up against. It wasn't always the same Pokemon. And then that last uh, third battle was the guy was just switching Pokemon constantly. And yeah, I mean, I, I could have played this a lot better. Um, but I, I don't have any feedback for this team. I, any, I, you know, bad feedback, should I say. I, there's nothing to change. Um, I mean, like I said, in one of the battles, the, the Lapras is a lot weaker in... Scarlet and Violet than it was in Sword and Shield, with the Dynamax stuff. You know, it could you could Dynamax Lapras, it would survive countless hits. Um, 
but yeah, it just didn't here. Um, and I love Lapras as a Pokemon. It just it is not a bulky Pokemon unless it has, you know, like I said, the Dynamax, or if it has other support Pokemon around it, which in this case it, re it didn't really have any. It was the support Pokemon essentially. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I will try and do a Lapras team build at some point. I, I am gonna, I want to do a stream at some point, but I want to make a team for it, and then just we'll just do battles and I, you know challenge viewers and stuff. Um, but that's a while to come yet. I've I've not decided on what I'm making. I might wait till the next regulation and do it then. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, anyway, guys, the code's there if you want to try it out. Mr. Fantastic builds fantastic teams. Um, and me playing this one was, yeah, it was uh, it, it wasn't a great play for me on this one. I struggled with this, I think. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you stayed this far, and uh, I'll catch you on the next videos. And uh, stay tuned. Peace out.